Well, I have bought the cheapest skid steer sickle bar mower I could find. Got this one on eBay. It's Wolverine brand. I paid about 3,200 bucks for it. So far, the only thing I've done is unfold it from packaging. And it just had these three bolts right here. I just had to put in to hold this out. And that's all I've done so far. Next step is to figure out some electronics. It has a switch that toggles a valve between the sickle hydraulic motor and the cylinder to change the angle. It needs 12 volts. So let's figure that out. Well, normally you're supposed to wire this directly into the skid steer power system somewhere. But I wanted something a little more portable. I didn't want this thing permanently attached. I can move it between skid steers a lot easier. So what I did was I made a 12 volt battery pack. I just happen to have these uh, little AA battery holders. Eight AA batteries is 12 volts. And the normal state is closed when the sickle bar mower, mower is running. So it's not gonna be drawing much power. It's only when you flip it on to change the angle. So I think a little battery pack like this, since most of the time it's not drawing any power, is actually gonna last uh, quite a while. We'll find out. So first thing I need to do is, uh, I'm guessing that's positive, that's ground. They have 12 volt, zero volt written on those. Um, I'm just gonna hold these together and flip the switch and see if that valve works. Okay, here's this electronic valve that this switch controls, and it just changes the valve between one of them runs the the hydraulic mower for that makes the sickle bar go, and the other one uh, runs a hydraulic cylinder to change the angle. And then you flip this whenever you need to do one or the other. All right, so my first test is let's just see if we just hold these together whether or not we can get this valve to work before we permanently attach these. All right, well, nothing happens when the switch is off, which is good. So probably hard to hear or see, but uh, when I'm doing this, I can see a little light turn on on the valve and I can hear it click. So that's gonna work out well. Next step is, uh, I'm just going to use some, some butt connectors and some tape uh, to get these wires connected together. Alright, help me remember, blue is ground. These are some cheap wire strippers. They don't even close all the way. Ugh, that's annoying. Doing it the hard way. Well, that'll work. I can still hear the uh, valve working over there, so I think this is going to work just fine. Right, next, I'm not a big fan of how precarious this is. I think just any kind of limb or something coming through is just going to be able to rip this off, tear these wires out. So I'm going to put, um, I think, a bunch of electrical tape around this. Maybe I'll take this over. Maybe up here like this. 
I like that. I think that'll work. I can tape all this up. That way, protect these uh, wires sticking out here a little bit. Well, it's better. I think it's still pretty susceptible to some limbs getting here and ripping this out. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that and uh, be careful. We'll see what happens. This thing didn't really come with instructions, but looking it over, I found one grease fitting here. So we'll hit that. And uh, then I think we're ready to try this out. Well, it looks like I had a little grease in there anyway. That's good. Apparently it comes from the factory with some grease. Good to know. That's cool. That goes up and down violently. But I think it works. Oh, make sure we're not leaking anywhere. Oh, it looks great. Well, I just happen to have some of this uh, multi-purpose lubricant, so I'm just gonna spray it on here. I don't know if it's needed, but seems like a good idea. Well, I mowed this trail in my last video and it has tons of limbs hanging over the trail. So this is gonna be a really good place to test this thing out.
start. Generally, I'm really happy with it. I did notice I've lost, let's see, one, two, three, looks like three teeth. I'm hoping these are just cheap ones that came with it. And uh, I can just replace these with some better ones. But I did go through some pretty big stuff. You can see one right here. But uh, yeah, this, uh, this trail is way more open now than it was before this sickle bar. I am glad I did this little bit of wiring work. So even though I mowed this, all this brush ends up down here and gets drugged through this as it gets pulled under the skid steer. So I might want to reinforce this wire a little bit more. That's the only annoying part. All these limbs kind of fall down and end up in the cab and you have to stop every once in a while and get rid of them. been trying to mow with it just put it flat and then drive along and see if I can mow this down and it is not doing a very good job at this it's leaving a lot still up and I think it's because it just has a really difficult time clearing itself it just kind of guns itself up with all the grass which just pushes it over before it gets a chance to cut 
So I don't know what to do about that, but maybe this just isn't going to make a very good mower. for the day I've run this thing for maybe two hours did an ATV trail cleared the main road now let's just uh, see how it held up motor looks good these are a couple bearings which is nice so they'll uh, they'll hold up pretty well I don't see any leaking doesn't look like I snagged anything. My wire addition, glad I did it. It held up nicely. In terms of the blades, looks like a uh, lost one here, lost one here, broke the whole, whatever this is, guard, broke that whole thing off. So I'll have to replace that. And of course, as I was cutting, it seemed like every branch wanted to go in here and wasn't able to cut it so I'll have to go replace these uh, before I do too much more pretty good I'm done for today I've got some uh, other projects for this tomorrow It's the next morning. I've got a chance to take a closer look at this. And you definitely do get what you pay for. So these two are connected. These two are connected. This one, it looks like they just took one of these and cut them in half. And just put that on there. So this was actually moved yesterday. I had moved it back so it got bent up. There's nothing else to support it. And that's probably what led... To these two teeth getting broken so I think what I'm gonna have to do some future project is uh, take this one move it down to the bottom and then take all of these and shift them up because when I'm trimming all the limbs a lot of the cuttings happening here so uh, I need that stability up here I also don't have an anvil uh, down here to handle these rivets so I'm just going to have to uh, finish my weekend with uh, the teeth I've got left. I've been running this thing about half throttle, maybe a little bit more. I run with uh, continuous flow. That way I don't have to hold the trigger the whole time. And then it is operated with the, uh, the thumb stick. So when the valve is off, that runs the sickle. With continuous flow, you just hold it down for a few seconds and it stays on. You turn the valve on, that runs the angle, and then pushing up, tilts the whole sickle bar towards you, and then pulling down will push the whole sickle bar away from you. So I just came up to some trees. Let's uh, angle that out a little bit and see if we can cut these off.
Here's my next project. This is my katsu patch. There's a big field down there that I'm able to mow with the bush hog, but I can't get any of this stuff on the sides. So I'm hoping I can just angle the sickle bar, run it along the edge here, and take all this out.
Well, this side is working out really well. I can't mow this because it has like a, a hump in some places and then it's just a drop off to the field. So I just put the sickle bar flat, drove it right along here. Unlike that grass that I was trying to mow yesterday that just got all gummed up in the sickle bar, I think this works a lot better because these are uh, thicker stalks, so it helps clear. But check that out compared to um, what I've got left to mow. That works out really well. I've probably put about four hours on this, two days worth of work. Final verdict, I'd give it like a C. It works. I've now broken one, two, three, four, five blades. So I'm really hoping that's just, uh, these are just super cheap blades that came with it and I get some better ones. Um, they won't break as often. We got some weird craftsmanship with you know them just cutting one in half, putting it here. But uh, I mean, it works. The valve is uh, starting to stick a little. Ooh, it's hot. Um, so yeah, it could be just because it's super hot. Uh, maybe it draws more power than I thought, so my little battery pack um, is dead. I don't know. But I gotta flip it a few times, and sometimes it just sticks, and then I, I give it a little uh, hydraulic pressure, and it'll flip it. But uh, something's going on with that. But it works. It cleared my trails. It was cheap. Maybe it'll get a B once I uh, replace the teeth and uh, stop breaking those. Alright, that's it for this weekend. I'm gonna hose this thing off and put it away.